Hi guys! So in today's recipe, I'm going to be showing you how to make Ofada stew, aka Ayamese or designer stew. Ofada stew is a simple palm oil stew prepared with lots of peppers, assorted meat and locust beans. So here I'll be using some big red bell peppers, some green bell peppers, some chili peppers, scotch bonnets and smaller red bell peppers which are also known as shombo. Other ingredients which I'll be using are of other rice, this is unpolished rice, assorted meat, so here I'll be using goat meat, beef, shaki, roundabout, stockfish, pomo, this cow skin, crayfish as well, palm oil, two eggs, locust beans or iru, and some onions. So I'll be listing down the quantity of ingredients I used in the description box so you can check it out. I will start by washing my alfada rice with warm water, then cook until it's soft. So after washing your father rice and you're sure the water is clear, just drain it, then bring it into a pot of boiling water. So in this water, I added a little salt and a tablespoon of vegetable oil just because I don't want the rice to stick to each other when they are cooked. Then cook this until the rice is soft. So while the rice is boiling, let's try to wash and blend all the peppers for this stew. So before we blend the pepper, I just want to say something. Personally, I'm not a fan of pepper. So for the shampoo, that's the small bell peppers. I have to remove some of the seeds so that it doesn't cause um, stomach upset for me. So if you love yours like that, you can leave all the peppers. But for the rest of the pepper, I left them the way they are. So let's blend the peppers. So for the blending, I added one onion to it. And after blending, you can choose to drain it with a colander or simply place it in a pot and cook until the water dries. So I didn't add much water to blend the peppers. So it's going to be very easy for the water to drain. Let's leave it to stand until it drains or So once the rice is cooked, you can keep it aside. So you know this this stew is usually prepared with bleach palm oil. So what you're going to do is to place an empty pot on it, then bring your one cup of palm oil into it. You're going to bleach the oil. But please let me say this. As you're doing this, you need to open all your windows and your doors. And also you are going to bleach the oil with the lid closed. This won't take more than 5 minutes for me. But if you really want the oil to be completely bleached, you can cook this for more than 5 minutes. That's about 10 minutes. But that's going to be on a very low heat. Please take note, you bleach the oil on a very low heat. guys after five minutes of bleaching the oil you can put off heat and don't open it immediately allow the oil to get cool before you open it so guys once you're sure the oil is cold you can now open it you see the oil looks clear this is exactly how i want it to be Put on heat, then bring the oil on it again. Once it's 30 seconds, I'm going to be adding in the chopped onion. So I'm also going to be adding iru to the oil to fry. So you make sure you rinse iru very well so you don't bite sand while you're eating the stew. Once you've added 
the onions and the iru. You need to stir fry this until the onions look a little bit brown. So you begin to notice some nice fragrance coming out of from the onions and the iru. So you can now add the pepper mix and fry as well. I'm going to be adding this in this. You know, I like my pepper to look a little bit chunky. So this is the consistency I like. You will have to stir fry this for about 10 minutes until the pepper is well fried. Once you've stirred fried this for 10 minutes and you notice the oil blow to the top, you can now season it with crayfish. And two seasoning cubes. So I will be adding salt here. So I will have to test the sauce. So you can also add a little meat stock to your sauce if it looks a little dry. Once the sauce has cooked for a while, Bring in all the meat into it. I cut the meat into smaller sizes. And you make sure you stay it properly. going to allow this to cook for another 10 minutes so you have to check back on this sauce then bring the boiled egg into it you can add more than two eggs after adding the eggs just stir the sauce then test for salt Our father stew is ready, it looks yummy with lots of ingredients so I'll be pairing this with ofada rice. Traditionally this is usually served on Uma leaf but I don't have that for now. I hope you love my video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.